I'm going to get some more food. Someone move my piece. Uh, are you guys not having fun? Well, we have other board games, right, Allie? You know where they are. All right, guys, so we have Cranium, Monopoly, um, Game of Life, and Yahtzee. Okay, Monica, I don't want to be a douche, and I'm not saying I'm speaking for everyone, but I think I'm speaking for everyone when I say we don't want to play board games anymore. Ooh, I got something. So this is Violent Round, or VR. Get it? Anyone? Anyways, this is a new horror game based in VR found online. It's still in development, so it's a little buggy. Alright, so what do you do? You wake up in an abandoned warehouse. This place has held many murders. Your objective is collect audio tapes and escape while being chased down by the killer himself. Collect all of them, you get out. But if he catches you, you die. So Monica, you go first. What? Why me? Well, you're the one that wanted us to get together for game night. Come on, Monica. It's just a game. Besides, if you die first, you won't have to play again. Okay, so what do I have to do? Take these controllers, and you go stand over there. This is Dr. Gerald Croft, psychiatrist. If you're listening to this, you may be in great danger. One of my patients, who suffers from a condition which I diagnosed as schizophrenia with homicidal tendencies, was convicted for murdering his mining partner. Now he's escaped from prison, and maybe in this very warehouse. Several people have disappeared, believed to be murdered by my patient. Despite authorities searching the building, no bodies, nor my patient, have been found. As you try to find your way out, please do so with extreme caution. prospector who has spent years in an abandoned silver mine. His prolonged exposure to silver dust has accumulated in his bloodstream, causing him to develop agiria, a disease causing grain of the skin. He also has thrombophobitis, causing the veins to be readily seen. It is my belief that the silver in his bloodstream has left deposits in his brain cells, which may also affect his mental stability. More later.
how would you guys like to try this? I'll do it. This is Dr. Gerald Croft, psychiatrist. If you're listening to this, you may be in great danger. What am I paying? During my sessions with a patient in prison, he spoke of the time that he separated from his partner. He went and explored an unknown shaft within the mine that was boarded up. He used his pickaxe and pried some boards off to gain entrance into the shaft. Once inside, and assuming that he was alone, he still felt that someone else was there. Nope, nope, nope. Looking about the area, he came across what appeared to be human remains. He noticed a putrid odor, but it wasn't coming from the remains, but something else entirely. He claimed that there was this entity that overtook him physically and mentally, and it was this entity that caused him to sneak out and kill his partner. Yes! Yeah! 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 It's my contention that being in a dark, unknown environment, and seeing the horror of the human remains, that he went into shock. While in fear and escaping the mine, he killed his partner, believing him to be the entity that he created in his own mind. Good. Someone else. You know it's your turn. No, come on. Look. We've all played it multiple times, and you haven't played it once. You've seen what we went through. You could breeze right through this. I just want to let you know, good luck. We're all counting on you. Smooth. Shut up. During my absence, the warden has informed me that my patient has killed both guards and inmates. Security has been so high that he has now been chained within his own cell. On my visit today, a prison guard confronted me. This guard is a very religious man. He told me he's a firm believer of biblical stories of demon possession. So much so that he says he's seen glimpses of a demonic persona in my patient's cell. With each inmate and guard he's killed, the demon has become more pronounced in his appearance believing that it grows a stronger connection to our world with each death. The guard may be mistaking multiple personality disorder with demon possession. Uh, uh, however, I'm a psychiatrist, not an exorcist.
on, this isn't funny. Ha ha, so original. Hello? Jake? Jake, I know this is you. If I knew you were so dead. Hello? Anyone? Monica? Come on, Monica, this isn't cool. Come on, guys. Where are you all hiding? We should probably go. <laughs> Allie, what the hell happened? I saw what, what happened. It was on the screen. No, we didn't. Whatever you saw, we didn't see. The computer shut down, the game glitched out. Steven and I tried everything to get the computer back on, and you still kept playing the game. We called your name, and you didn't even hear us. It was like you were in a completely different zone entirely. I know, I know what I saw. Look, whatever you saw, it didn't happen, okay? It was just a game. Look, I'm gonna go, okay? Okay. If you need me, if anything happens, call me.